Well, it started, I think, next door and came across. It's now on my, my spray shed behind you is gone. Fred Steele stares in disbelief as a grass fire quickly spreads up a hill behind his home, located on an orchard just off Scenic Road in Glenmore. Few trees are not a major problem. However, my spray shed at the top, I think, is... I've unlocked it in case they need to get in, but I'm leaving the door closed in case it's inside it's burning. You know? As the flames quickly began to spread, neighbours came together with fire hoses, fearing their homes were in danger. All I know is I was out here 15 minutes before I got a call saying the place is on, you know, the hill's on fire. I came out and I like, oh, what a crap. So I grabbed the hose from here, told my daughter to grab the other hose and, you know, and we phoned 911, they already had about four calls in already. No idea how it started. Me and my buddy over there, we were about the first two people on scene. I was up top helping drag all the hose and it's well over the top of the hill now. It's already crested and they've already asked for uh, air support, so. Although fire crews were quick to the scene and able to contain the blaze, forestry was called in to help battle the flames. We are looking at uh, just at uh, overhaul stage, which means just putting out the hot spots. But we're currently, uh, with the wind gusts coming, we still want forestry to be here. Uh, we had to uh, have a couple homeowners evacuate from the area. We've had power shut off to the area as well, just because of uh, water drops that are going to be coming in helicopter. Rachel Yu rescued her animals from her home after she was told to evacuate. I have a bunny, a guinea pig, and a hamster. I don't think they should be breathing in smoke. The cause of the blaze is not known. However, fire crews do have flames under control and will remain on scene dealing with hotspots for several hours. As for residents in the area, they know they may have to leave at a moment's notice if the wind picks back up again. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.